so this question is about finding the diameter of a binary tree what's this diameter okay so we have heard about height in regular data structure courses but what is diameter can you can you find out so diameter is usually defined as the maximum distance between any two leaf nodes okay so what can be the diameter so let's see with examples so this is a tree tree one and here the maximum diameter is the number of nodes in the path from the maximum distance leaf nodes so here this is if i consider these two leaf nodes it is one two and three if i consider this node and this node length is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you might be tempted to think that okay that we go left most left 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 till i encounter a leaf then i go right 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 till i encounter a leaf and then the number of nodes traveled will be equal to diameter but let's see here i go to this place what is the diameter now from this place to this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 I have found out is there any bigger so let's see I go from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so this I think is the biggest diameter that is the number of nodes in between two leaf nodes in fact this and this also are forming a diameter but you need to tell just one what is the maximum number of nodes in the path between two leaf node including those leaf nodes itself so this is the diameter of the tree okay and similarly if i see here so let's have this so here if i choose these two nodes so one two three four five six but if i choose this and this so one two three four five six seven eight and nine so this is the farthest two leaf nodes and this is the diameter so now the thing is what are the properties of diameter just let's try to observe to solve this problem first question you might be tempted is does diameter always pass through root so does diameter always pass through root no so in this case it was passing through the root node but here it is not passing through the root node okay so it's not necessary the answer is no then uh, what we should do one thing then the next question is can we relate it with height of the tree height of the tree so height is what so if I consider this tree so a small tree like this so height is 2 okay so can there be any relation between height i can say the height of left tree height of right tree plus one will give us the diameter it means like kind of radius into twice its diameter so here this is the left radius this is the right radius somehow and then i add one for the root node does it give me the diameter is there any relation between diameter and height so we should try to find out but one thing is that it's not necessary that it should go through the root 
but it is somewhat we see it is related to the height okay so to find the diameter i find the height of the left sub tree i find the height of the right sub tree and i add one then at least i will get the that maximum span which covers the root node okay so one thing what we say is that through the root node whatever can be the maximum be somehow we can try to find out using something we will get with the height of left plus height of right sub tree plus one it will give us some kind of span but not really the diameter of the tree because diameter can be anything even if we had gone here left and here right completely that was not the diameter it is very much curvature so i came here then i turned right here i was going right and then i moved left or even this one would have done so what to do so it's not looking that simple that i start from root and i am done so i have to find kind of compare a lot of things recursively that much i can find out okay so let's see but how to find the height of a tree so this is a kind of primer for height of a tree so i pass the root node i call int height if t is null the root node is null it is a trivial case height is zero but otherwise what otherwise i return one because i have already got a node so i return one plus maximum of height of left sub tree and height of right sub tree so let's see this thing here is the beautiful recursion that is happening for height so what i do if node is null so that is the base case for recursion you should always remember to when you write a recursive function have a base case if t is null return 0 else return 1 plus maximum of height of left sub tree and height of right sub tree so let's try it on this code and let's see what we get so i choose so i pass the root root is not null so i return 1 plus max of height of left sub tree so i get height i come here and height of right for that i will come here so height of so i pass this and height of tree is what height of t left it comes here it's not null so it returns 1 plus maximum of t left and t right so here now height has become 1 and it calls t left here and t right here so now when it comes here so it again it calls height of t left max of height t left t right so it returns 1 plus that and these are because they are null so it will add 1 here and when it returns because both are 1 so it returns 1 plus max of 1 comma 1 so this will now become 2 so this height of left sub tree is 2 and now when this function was called for height of t right it comes here it returns 1 plus max of so this let's call t1 so t1 left so height of t1 left comma height of t1 right okay so it goes there and it goes here so now mm, height of t1 left so height when i come here so it will be 1 plus height of node left node right both are null so it returns zero height is 1 here so what happens it will be added so t left is height 2 but when it comes here so height will now be what one will be added here one will be added here one will be added here so it will now become one was here plus 3 so it will become 4 so height of right sub tree is 4 height of left sub tree is 2 so it will return what will return 1 plus max of both which is max of 2 comma 4 so 1 so it means 5 okay so it returns a 5 here height is 5 so that way it's clear so now what happens is 
so this was two here this was four so it returns height four here so it returns a three so this max height height will be four okay and then we go towards the tree diameter okay so just let's see it here so it returns it goes here and if t is null so it returns zero otherwise it returns one plus max of t left so one has come here it goes here again it one will be added here so it is two here and similarly it will be four here so height will be four and not five so this is the clarification so it doesn't take the root and count the maximum height of the subtree so this left subtree has so it's its height is 2 so that is the case and we move here now so tree diameter so if t is null so it returns 0 otherwise what it does it calculates now height of left subtree and height of right subtree but what it does also is that we saw that diameter can be any way maximum dif distance so it adds l diameter is equal to tree diameter t left it also calls t left with tree diameter and t right it finds the diameter of the left subtree and right subtree recursively and finally returns maximum of l height and r height which is height of the left subtree and right subtree plus one which is the case when it is thinking that height of the left subtree this one is for what if the so let's see this thing more clearly this is this one is if diameter passes through t node t okay that means if it is the root node t is the root node if this one if this is the max then it means that what will it mean okay so it will mean here what that this is passing through the root node but otherwise what diameter of the left subtree and diameter of the right subtree it may might not pass through the root as we saw here so it in that case it will be the diameter of the left subtree or diameter of the right subtree so that's what there it is l diameter left diameter and right diameter it finds the maximum of them it that subtree that diameter can be anything in the left subtree passing through some root node here of the left subtree or it can be the diameter of the right subtree or it can be some diameter which passes through the root and then it finds the maximum among all of them at each level and then it finds that okay at each level recursively it does that so what it means it recursively finds that okay what is the height of left subtree right subtree and then it proceeds further so just for example if we check this one so left it starts here so left subtree height is what left subtree height is 5 here right subtree height is 2 so what it does again it goes and left diameter and right diameter it finds so right diameter will go here somewhere and left diameter comes here so again at this level what it does it finds so at each level it is basically calculating the height and then finding the diameter so it comes here it finds the height of the left subtree so it will be one two three four and height of the right subtree which is one two three four so what happens now so it means now here it again it does recursively everywhere and wherever it gets the max so that will be the solution so it means that this left height plus right height plus one this tells that okay this is assumed 
that the diameter passes through that particular node t and when i'm calling it with the root node so this means that it passes through the root node but when uh, this is basically noting that it passes through the node where this t diameter function is called but it also recursively checks the diameter in the left subtree also and in the right subtree also and when it gets the max it finds the maximum diameter in the whole subtree whatever trees subtrees that can be formed so thanks a lot